So this chapter definitely made me a lot more excited about this fight, but not because of the X-axis. I still stand by how I feel about the X-axis that I'm not that interested in him at all. He's just kind of like a villain for the sake of having a villain to cross over in order to get to the final fight. However, Kyoraku, his abilities, his little fucking games and shit like that that were revealed more in this chapter and whatnot, I fucked with it heavy. And Kyoraku, he's one of the most interesting of the Gold Tier 13 that he doesn't necessarily like. He puts on a facade of who he is, but in actuality, he's a smart guys kind of like Urahara Kisuke like he pretty much puts on this like I'm a joker I'm a womanizer la la but in actuality he's very calculative he will fuck shit up and he won't give a fuck so definitely like that I mean granted the fight does from a perspective of looking at positions feel weird if Kyoraku Shunsui is the captain commander why is he fighting one of the flunkies of the main dude like at the very least i think kyoraku should have been fighting alongside somebody against hoshwald or in a big final battle which still could very well happen because he's the captain commander now he has the highest position of the gote 13 and instead of leaving it to the substitute to take care of it all so that's one thing i guess i have as far as like against the whole position of the battle but as far as the actual battle goes kyoraku's abilities is the most interesting thing right now in his character and everything like the way he's handling it and it's not necessarily that he has an easy battle ahead of him either so that's kind of cool as well and his abilities kind of remind me of maybe like yukio the dude from the full bringers like you know turning these games into reality except it's not a full bring you know his shikai and it honestly feels a little bit more like a manly version like at the end of the day just take a look at our culture in general everyone plays video games now so if yukio's ability or game master from yu yu Hakusho, i know i'm jumping off but you get what i mean it's like what a five or a ten year old would do with these silly games this is what a man that sits down and plays the fucking manly games would do except acting a little bit childish at the same time and to be honest with you the x axis is a moron because i believe unless i'm mistaken the reason why kyoraku revealed the you know rules and everything was because it wouldn't be a game now i don't know if he was just talking that talk like it wouldn't be a game if i didn't tell you now would it or maybe his abilities won't work properly or work at all unless he tells him the rules so there's a possibility there but the x-axis is just a fucking cocky piece of shit and i'm tired of kubo doing this like yes it doesn't matter i'm going to explain my abilities because it won't affect what oh oh you defeated me because i explained my abilities mm, fuck kubo stop it just stop it you stop it right now so there's that x-axis yet again it's like i'm not that hype for you bro i don't believe the hype right now this sniper shit ain't fucking flying through me bro it's not no i'm sorry x-axis i don't believe you you need more people but Kiraku shouldn't sweep for the motherfucking win and the fight so far is getting interesting this chapter got a little more exciting i mean granted x-axis is putting up a bit of a fight Kiraku ain't gonna have an easy one but yeah, it's like Kyoraku is totally the main attraction of anything regarding this fight right now. And I mean, granted, it was a little bit of foreshadowing that some shit might go down as far as when he was speaking to one of the lieutenants or whatever, or that one chick, I forget her name, Nano, I think it is. Like, so it's a little bit foreshadowing that maybe he might have no hair around his nipples, if you get what I mean in context of the chapter. So it was a good one for the most part. Seven out of ten, maybe. Honestly, it was like fight getting interesting and learning more about Kyoraku and his abilities and whatnot pretty cool x-axis could go eat a dick as of right now like why are you telling them your abilities mate kubo i done told you stop doing it mate yeah i know i'm a little extra animated today but fuck it why not but let me know what you guys think about this first of all Kyoraku's ability is the reason why he told them that simply because it's like oh yeah it wouldn't be a game like you know just being like that or is it because it actually wouldn't work if he didn't tell them the abilities and what do you think about the x-axis telling his abilities it's just like i'm a cocky piece of shit i'm gonna tell you right now what do you think about the child games turning into reality thing again i think it's kind of cool in a sense it's like a man is doing it and i guess to take a quote from michael jackson be childlike not childish the games of people like Yukio were childish his are childlike which is kind of cool so yeah kyoraku for the win and this fight is getting interesting just it's more interesting on one side than the other but that's a lot for this review thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be amazing, 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 amazing. For another world, and as always, people, have an awesome day. You better fucking have an awesome day, or I'm gonna go through this screen and give you a hug. Have an awesome day, people.